All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started here with the adult Sunday school class. If you need a handout, there's one on the back uh, chair there. Uh, it's simply a printout of the OPC's form of government, the first two chapters. So if that print is too small for you, I'm sorry. You can look up on your phone, and I know the print on your phone probably isn't very big either, but at least you can adjust it. Um, so that'll at least, at least give you what we're looking at. Uh, essentially, in this class, we're going to be following scriptural teaching on the church following um, how it's summarized in the OPC's form of government. So that's the method to our madness here. So again, if you need one, back chair there. Let's go ahead and get started with a word of prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, the Lord Jesus, who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And we thank you that we, through faith and through the Holy Spirit, have been born again and have entered into that kingdom and we pray, Lord, that we would better understand today what your scriptures teach us about Christ, the head and king of his church, how he rules to protect and defend and to guide us as individuals and as part of his holy body. And may, Lord, uh, with this clearer knowledge, we be better able and better directed that we might grow in love and grace and in the knowledge of Jesus. Grow up into him who is the head. For we ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so as I kind of already mentioned, this class here is about uh, the church, in particular about what we can call the government of the church. Right, and and why, are, why do we speak of the church as having a government? Well, let's keep in mind, this isn't the only image the Bible uses to describe the church, right? The church is a kingdom, it has a king, but what are some other images that describe the church in the Bible? Let's just brainstorm here. What's that? All right, so the church is a